Hello there you and welcome to an Eldar defense line who are about to be assaulted by half a million chaos renegades. The Eldar have set up their defense on an ancient staircase hoping to turn the chaos horde into a pile of corpses that cascades down its steep slopes. Will the Eldar be able to hold the line? or will warp and demons overcome them? As always, if you do enjoy this content, do leave a like and consider subscribing, as that's the best way to support the channel. Now, let's get on with the slaughter. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. This is the big one. We've got a gigantic defense here by the Aldar, a thousand Aldar. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but the Aldar are formidable opponents here that the Chaos are gonna have to try and breach through their defenses you can see the Shurukan weapons here just dealing absolute death on the front lines as the poor old renegades here have to engage in melee combat. Why do they have to engage in melee combat? Well, it's because of how the game mechanics work, unfortunately. If we allowed these guys to shoot, they'd overwhelm the defenders in seconds. So what we're going to do here is let them engage with their bayonets. Of course, it's the good old chaos way. But that hard, heavy hitting firepower coming from the Eldar has disintegrated that front line so much. But even then, even with the insane losses that the Chaos are taking at the moment, they have managed to reach the front lines here of the Eldar defense. You can see that they are taking monumental losses trying to push this single area at the moment. They are going to be able to start flanking around the sides just in a little while. However, we're going to build some lovely little corpse piles at the very start here. Of course, the ultimate corpse pile is going to be at the back on the staircase where the main defense is. You can see the defenders in the back line just railing down Overwatch fire right onto the front lines back here. Already, little Timmy is starting to get a lovely little blood lake appearing in the back lines here. Look at that. It's magnificent already. It's only tidy in its infancy. A little rubber ducky would fit in nicely. No rubber dinghy just yet. As you can see, the chaos are dissolving around the Aldar. Now, the Aldar here using their superior agility to be able to dodge and weave out of the way of the bayonet stabs. <laughs> and in return, the advanced targeting systems are just laying down heavy firepower on the rear lines. But you can see over here on their side, some chaos are storming up now, trying to outflank the Aldar position. They are being met with stiff resistance, though. No matter which way that the Chaos attack on this portion, they're going to be met with heavy, heavy firepower. So if we go up here onto the top of the wall, you can see that these guys have got pretty much a really good view of the entire Chaos horde down there. We have got three defensive lines on the wall here, which the Chaos are going to have to try and breach. And as you can see, the ones that are just out in the open are extremely costly for them to be taking at the moment. Taking stupendous losses as they try to push into this area. You can see the front line in the background as well. Filling up with blood ever so slightly. Our second line is sort of under attack here on the outer flanks. However, the guys in the middle are still free to pile fire. And we have got this little bit of a bottleneck as well that the Chaos are going to have to go up. That should provide it prove to be interesting for them later on. However, they still have not yet passed the first line. Aldar still staying alive over here, creating even more corpse piles. Now, what this is essentially going to do down at the bottom here is create a dam. So all future blood is just going to pool up at the bottom down here, hopefully. So I'm hoping by the end of this, we get this turned into a lovely little blood lake for little Timmy. Chaos are trying to surge around on the flanks, though. There is a little path that they can come around over this. Uh, yeah, there we go. So you can see there's this little path over here that they're going to try and push. However, the amount of troops that come in are so, so few. It's not really going to affect the defense. But on this side, the Chaos are yet again taking insane losses. The Shurokans here fired by the Eldar, easily penetrating the Chaos armor. I mean, it is a diamond wrapped in barbed wire after all. You know, it's it's pretty deadly. Even the Space Marine, so yeah. A Renegade Gunner, it's going to go through multiple ones easily. The front line is still holding, though. We only have one or two Aldar on it. But yeah, they are actually managing to hold. So we're at 64,000 kills here from the Aldar. Oh my god, look at this. We've got this lovely little body pile here. Oh, it's been a while. It has been a while since we've had the, the pleasure 
Oh my god, that is magnificent, and it's just constantly flowing. But indeed, we have got a body bob sleigh. Look at our ball just piling up at the bottom here. Pretty soon then, this might become a pathable area if these corpses keep building up here like this. That'll actually become pathable. So it does look like now then that the front line has officially collapsed here for the Eldar. The second line now under a brutal assault from the Renegade Gunners, who aren't really Renegade Gunners at the moment because they're not shooting. The Renegade Stabbers, that's what we'll call them. Man, I'm really liking this uh, body bobsleigh that we've got going though. The amount of corpses just funneling down from here. So the overwatch provided by the guardians of the wall, not the galaxy, but of the wall, is really laying the hurt on the chaos who are flanking round. Look at all these guys, man. Loot so many losses. Oh, man. That is an insane kill ratio. The kill counter can barely even keep up with it at the moment. We're starting to make a secondary blood leak down here. I don't know what happened to our first one. It seems to have evaporated a bit. I think it might trickle out and end up somewhere down here. We'll have to check after the battle, if I remember. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, little Timmy. We are making a secondary blood leak on the side over here. And I'm pretty sure we'll make one later. As all the, uh, the corpses start piling up over at the other end. We will be time-lapsing a little bit of it, just because it will take a little while for the Chaos to actually be able to breach the steps and stuff like that. So we'll time-lapse a few of them sections. We'll really get to see all the bodies piling up there. This Chaos flank, though, has not been that successful yet. They have almost killed the uh, Guardians that were defending the flank. But the question is, at what cost? Look at that body pile. There's so many dead. So the secondary line... Borderland a little bit quicker here than the first line did. There was slightly fewer troops on it. Maybe Chaos learned a lesson here on how to actually deal with the Eldar. But they are going to have to deal with this bottleneck. So this side is impathable and the other side over here is also impathable. Meaning that the Chaos are going to have to storm up this tiny little area. There is a little path at the side, but that is really, again, going to be a hard area for the Chaos to push. So I'm really interested to see what actually happens when this uh, Aldar front line falls here. You can see that we have still got quite a few Aldar holding out like on the first line yet again. Just refusing to die. But that has not stopped the chaos. Just sheer weight of numbers now. Being able to push right through and try and attack that second, well, third actually, defense line. The third defense line has been attacked for quite some time, really. It's been attacked in the flank. And they've been holding them off really, really well. But yeah, these corpses... Oh, look, as predicted, I did say the corpses might pile up enough at our body bobsleigh location for it to actually become pathable. And that's exactly what's happened. All the corpses have now built up, and the AI can make its way up here, right into that flank again. Have Chaos actually managed to succeed on this side at all? No, they haven't. They're still trying to push that flank and still taking heavy losses for it. Oh, look at this. We've got an absolute unit over here. Holding his own against the chaos. He's like, no, I'll be the distraction. Oh, oh sorry, there is two of them. They're going to play the distraction here. So before the chaos can actually completely outflank them, they have got to get past these two guys. However, it looks like they've got a lot of fire support right behind them. Oh, my. Okay, so they've got one. There's still one guy left there that the chaos have got to get past. How are we doing on these sides? My god, man, look at that horde. It's still gigantic. So our third defense line is actually holding. The chaos here have hit the bottleneck. So hopefully that should keep them at bay just that little bit longer. We have breached almost 120,000 kills now. The chaos with 371,000 units remaining. That overwatch firepower, though, that has been rained down on the chaos is causing them significant hurt as they try to push these. So the Chaos now really need to capitulate this third defense line and get them units flowing up through the center. Because the only thing that's been flowing really for the Chaos is their blood down the hill. Let's actually go quickly, see if we can see any little blood leaks that have formed down here as a result of it. Uh, I can't see anything that stands out. That's a little bit sad. Maybe the blood has just not been spilt enough yet. We'll work on that. We'll get there little by little. 
But yeah, look, the Chaos really struggling to push the center area. Especially as they've got the fourth defense line also trying to help out. They were, I will say, a lot of them are distracted by the flank. I mean, look at that brutality down here. The blood and the corpses. It is just a brutal fight, man. Only 500 Eldar remaining. So Eldar almost lost half of their force here. Oh my god, this guy is still alive over here? <laughs> Look at him, standing up top, a pile of corpses, just solo. My dude, you've been holding that really well. So it looks like then, we have officially started building our corpse pile over here. How are we getting on on our front line? Which is technically the third. Well, it looks like the Chaos might have just actually breached through it. So we have got these little pockets of resistance either side now that the Chaos are going to have to try and deal with. But yeah, it does look like officially the fourth line has been engaged on both flanks. I mean, to be fair, the fourth line has been under siege for quite some time, piling up the corpses around this poor person's house here. I don't know what's going to happen to this real estate. I'm hoping we can bury it all <laughs> in corpses. Because so far, we've done some really nice work. Oh, look at this. We've even made this person... Look. We've done some renovation work on this property. And we've given a lovely little blood pool here. They can have all their little rubber ducks in that one. The Chaos, though, still pushing this flank. I've not yet managed to get any ground. As I said earlier, the one's pushing over from this side. Not really contributing anything to the fight, really, for Chaos. But yeah, man, the Chaos have taken stupendous losses, just pushing these outer edges. So, now that they really are going to be funneled in here, I'm interested to see what happens. The body pile, how high do you think it is going to go? Can we get it all the way up to the top? If we can get it all the way up here, man, I don't think we've actually got enough Chaos to even do that. But the covering fire that is coming down from uh, up above is stupendous, man. The Chaos are just getting railed on here. But they are pushing that middle line. They have finally broken through. And not much of the floor is actually left here. It's all just covered in corpses and blood. I'm absolutely amazed that the Aldar have put up such a good defense with only so few troops so far. How are we doing? How's our dude getting over here? Man, this guy needs a promotion. He has been holding that inside all by himself for at least five minutes now. And look at the corpse pile he's made. He started way before anyone else has. <laughs> oh, what an absolute G. Looks like we're getting a little miniature body pile starting to form over here as well. On our fourth defense line, which is now our front line. <laughs> the chaos, man. You've got to hand it to them. The fever has overtaken them. The bloodlust, man. They're just rushing forward here. They don't care about these stupendous losses. They don't care about the fact that every single road is now made out of their dead comrades. Oh no, it looks like our guardian of the staircase has fallen here. Though so bro did us proud. He made a two-story high body pile. Defending that area by himself. So the, the next major snap is going to be here in the middle. And this is when Chaos can truly start searching forward. And trying to take the staircase. Already the piles of blood uh, bodies are starting to mount up. Nah, I think it looks so cool when the bodies are piling up on the staircase like this. It's just, there's something very Warhammer about it. But oh god, look at this as well. Because we've actually uh, made enough of a, a body uh, wall here now. We're filling up this entire area with blood. What we need to do is block off this area. So the blood can't escape down here because I think it's going to trickle down the side. So if we can get a couple of kills over here, Aldar, that'd be fantastic. Fill up this area. I'd absolutely love that. But the Aldar so far, 163,000 kills to them. And now the true slaughter begins here. The chaos trying to push the ancient staircase. Their corpses starting to litter the ground. The blood is truly flowing. The real estate is truly destroyed in value. Look at the corpses that are piled up here, man. And these guys are still getting railed on from above, bear in mind. 
I'm actually amazed that this defensive line is still holding here, despite the chaos throwing everything that they have at it at the moment. The corpse pile in the background has officially, well, it officially started ages ago, but now it's well and truly underway. The construction has begun, ladies and gentlemen. The corpses are starting to cover the entire staircase over this side. We need to get a few more over here so we can cover this area up. But yeah, I think by the time that the, uh, the chaos managed to push this area, hopefully we'll have covered this entire staircase in all of their corpses. So what I think we'll do is we'll just uh, quickly hit a time-lapse camera. Now, where should we put the camera? Should we have it over here somewhere, maybe? Yeah, I think if we just have it... Uh, let's lower it. There we go. I'd say, let's get it here. We should be able to see the corpses nicely build up. And we'll be back in a second. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your first corpse pile update. As you can see here, the chaos have made absolutely monumental gains. Not trying to get into this staircase here. They've actually killed a few of the Aldar who are defending the lower staircase, but most of them have been turned into this magnificent pile of corpses that we see before us. Now, every part of the lower staircase is completely pathable to the chaos now. So, oh my god, look at this as well. We're actually still building a corpse pile on this side. Also, we've got a secondary objective now. We're trying to also drown this house in corpses. That's what we're also doing. I've just decided. I think we could actually do that little by little. They are still getting railed upon from the, uh, the higher ups up there. So, it is a possibility that we will be able to get the uh, corpses over here. Now, the chaos are starting to breach the staircase simply because the corpses have now covered up enough of the stairs to get them up to that height, as you can see on this side. So, yeah, look, they're at about this height. That is uh, kind of impressive in corpses, but they've still got a little bit of a ways to go yet. They've got the Eldor at the bottom here to clean up. Then they've got to kill these and then finally push up the staircase into the next group. Now, we are going to go back to our time-lapse camera because, as I said, this is taking a little bit of time. It's a little bit slow, but it is also fun watching these bodies really start to pile up. So I think we're going to try and watch this house and the staircase here. And we'll be back again in a second. Welcome back to Corpse Update number two, where you can see here the Chaos now are pushing at the staircase, having finally killed at least one side of the Aldar here. And look at this, we've actually managed to almost get on top of the roof here. We have started to cover the roof bit by bit in the corpses of the enemy. Now, there's only quarter of a million of the uh, Renegade Gunners left. We've got 250 uh, Aldar remaining here. You can see that we're starting now to build our second body pile at the top up here. Now, as you can notice, some of them are roly poly enough and falling and adding to the corpse pile below. So what I'm hoping is, little by little, that these corpses all start to build up down the stairs and then we can get some real, real assault going up the staircase there for the chaos. Now, we do have to kill these few remaining uh, Aldar over here on this side of the staircase. There's only a few of them remaining, but... They're holding their own. They've been holding this for quite a while, I've got to say. I'm quite impressed with them. The body pile is magnificent, though, so far. But we still need to add another quarter of a million to it 
So we are going to go back and do another time lapse. This is going to have a few time lapses in it. We're going to have a few corpse updates because this is going to take quite a while. As you can see, they're coming up here almost one by one at the moment. And we've still got a quarter of a million to go. So I think we'll go back here and uh, we'll keep an eye on things. You know what? We'll try to get to more of the staircase. There we go. We can see the staircase here. We can also see our house slowly getting covered. And we can also see the other staircase to see if the uh, chaos actually managed to breach that side. So we'll be back once again in a moment. Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome to Corpse Update number three. You can see now that the Chaos have started to progress and push at both staircases here. And we've got this rather lovely little body pile starting to appear at the top of our second set of staircases. However, we've got a long way to go here before we can actually build this one up all the way up there. So the Chaos can start acting up there. That's the ultimate goal anyway. We haven't got that many corpses on the stairs yet. As you can see, most of them keep tumbling off and add into the pile at the bottom, which I'm all for. Now, look at this as well. We're officially on the roof of the building over here. We are slowly but surely submerging it in the corpses of the chaos. And there's still quite a few chaos remaining over here. 211,000 to be exact. Oh my, the Aldar have still got 241 actually defending. So the chaos really do have their work cut out for them here. And we are going to be getting back to another time lapse because, like I said, this is going to take a very, very long time. Even with them now coming up both staircases, they're still coming up one at a time. But let's get ourselves into a lovely little position here. I want to be able to see uh, the bodies still piling up. But can we get it? I wonder if we can get one up here. No, not quite. Uh, I wanted to see if we could uh, get all the bodies piling up and uh, at the bottom, but... I don't think we can see the double effect, unfortunately. Oh my god, look at all these. Sorry, but just look at them tumbling off. And they are actually tumbling down the slopes as well. What I said in my intro was, uh, it was quite correct. They are literally cascading down the slopes. Oh my god, that's absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's hit a time lapse. We'll be back in a second. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Corpse Update number four, where Chaos now have officially captured the top of the stairs here. We've got this lovely little body pile that has formed at the top, but we've still got a little bit of a ways to go here. They've still got to get up to the top of the staircase. Still a few Aldar here defending the way. Aldar have only got 183 troops remaining. There's 156,000 Chaos still left attacking at this area. Oh my god, I don't know actually, I don't even know who's going to win this. Are Chaos going to be able to capitulate the defense here? Or are the Aldor going to simply turn them all into a massive body pile? You can see that the Chaos are pretty much only pushing at one side at the moment. This could be good for the Aldor, we don't know yet. We'll find out as these body piles continue to grow. Oh my god, look down here as well. Do you remember that there used to be a house here? Well, the house has disappeared. There is no longer a house. We have officially covered it all in corpses. And the amount of corpses that we've actually built up on the uh, bottom of the staircase here is stupendous also. The chaos, though, still throwing units at this, still trying to make their way up the staircase. I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. I don't know if the Eldar are going to be able to hold out 
against this kind of onslaught. Like I said, time is going to tell here, as always. We're going to hit another time-lapse camera. Hopefully, we get some more body piles building up. I'm going to actually uh, come up here now so we can see the uh, top of the stairs from this angle. We'll be back in a moment. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Corpse update number five has just dropped. And the Chaos have finally, at last, after two hours of attacking, managed to reach the final group of Aldar here, perched atop our gigantic wall. You can see that our body pile didn't get too high in the center yet, but down below, it is absolutely magnificent. We have almost covered the entire bottom section of the stairs here in the Corpses of Chaos. The house that was under here has long since disappeared. I mean, if we go to this one for comparison, you can see that the pile of corpses is way higher than where the house is. Now, we have started to make this rather lovely little quaint pile down here. It's going to take a while yet before we can build up enough for the chaos to be able to path up these stairs indiscriminately. However, we have got less than 100,000 chaos remaining. So, we are going to go back to our last and final time-lapse camera. And we're going to see if the cars can actually start to build up these body piles just a little bit more. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my, oh my. It's been about two and a half hours now of Chaos continuously trying to push these staircases and look at these body piles that we have created here. We've almost started burying the second house. That's how stupendous they are. Look, you can actually see under here just how far off the original stairs we are. We've built up the bodies so high that they're actually starting to go up the second staircase here. It's been a monumental struggle for Gale. Look at this. Everywhere we look, they're just covered in bodies now. And they're still raining down. The uh, Eldar at the top here have probably lost about six or seven troops in the last hour, maybe. Like I said, it's been going about two and a half hours now for me here. I know you guys have been enjoying the lovely little time lapses, so it's not been that long for you. However, I do need to actually finish up here. So... We are going to have to end this fight here, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I know we normally end with a nuke. However, we're, we're going to do something slightly different here because, as you can already see, we've got some body piles to be looking at here. So, we are going to nuke them. However, we're not going to end it right there. Let's, so, let's just detonate and clear the area here because I want to go and inspect our corpse piles. And, oh my god, look at that. That's absolutely amazing. Now, you can sort of see, like, maybe if I zoom out a little bit more, you can see the house underneath there. It's really difficult to see it, but the house is so buried in corpses that it's absolutely unbelievable here. Now, it does say that, that the Renegades won, and I don't think anyone really would there. The Eldar lost a heck of a lot of troops, but let's have a look at something else. I want to see 
We did. Okay, I was thinking that, I was hoping that we were starting to build up corpses on the other side. And that's exactly what happened. Look at this one. We got a lovely little blood lake to go alongside it. Little Timmy can actually almost get his rubber dinghy in that as well. Actually, did we get any other blood lakes on the other side over here? No, I can't see any blood lakes, which is kind of remarkable, really, considering how many chaos we've killed here. Look at the entire area. It's just littered with thousands and thousands of bodies. But we are going to be wrapping this one up here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you had a blast. I know I did. Please do have a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Massive shout out to all our channel members who helped to keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not? Click the join button below. And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and check out the merch store? We've got loads of cool stuff on there. With all that being said, as always, until next time, peace.